Team Green's Eye on the World. Location, Treverton, KwaZulu Natal, South Africa. My name's John Miller. My name's Rock Vessel. And we're basically here to take out all the alien vegetation here because it's just taking too much water. We're mainly taking out blue gums so far and some people have been taking out the blackjacks and the brambles. We're taking away um, the wattle and the blue gums because so the new indigenous plants can come back and so that the wildlife can come back too. Well, my name's Tabby Mato. And my name's Andrew Trachler. Um, the reason we're taking out these plants is because it's taking up our water and all our land from the, our indigenous plants and it's stopping the biodiversity of our indigenous plants. People all over the world should help our environment by taking out alien plants. Team Green's Eye on the World. Location, Treverton, KwaZulu Natal, South Africa. Hi everybody, we're here at the Treverton Wildlife Area, a part of a very innovative school that goes, has a very large area that the children come and work in and learn in at the same time. Today we're going to be looking at the wetland areas. And if we look over here, we have a large wet flat area. And to our left, we have the catchment area. And the water catches in the catchment and then comes down into the wetland and it's caught in the wetland. Today, we're going to have the grade sevens come and help us with a rehabilitation of this wetland. In the past, farmers believed that the best way to get increased farming activity was to put in drains, almost like the stormwater drains, that kind of story, and they would dig holes into the wetlands and it would take the water away. It is only later that we started to realize that this can cause damage to the environment and that it has a long-term detriment. So what we do now is we rehabilitate those drains and we block those drains. The Great Sevens will be coming, taking soil and putting it into the drains to create a mud block so that it becomes like a plug. And they will take the spades, they'll use their hands, they'll get involved in it, pick it up, move it so that it becomes this plug in this hole and the, in the drains and then that will allow the water to go over it instead of running through the drain and it will move through into the rest of the wetland area into the flat wetland area. My name is Lunga. Um, we just here I'm with my friends, my grade six friends here in the Trevedon Wildlife next to the dam, and we're having a picnic and chilling and everything. I think that it's important because if you are green um, and you actually keep quiet about it, you don't you don't have to be famous to be green. You actually get a good feeling. If you love animals and stuff, then you shouldn't litter because it can endanger their life. And there's no point in littering when it's such a beautiful place out here. Basically looking after the future and everything for everyone else so that everyone else can also enjoy it. To me the environment's really special because it's green and it's really fun to play outside and if you don't look after it then there's not going to be that outside to play on. And yeah, if you do want to have a picnic, just like have a picnic but after like let's just say if you had a, had a cheese sandwich and you dropped it on the floor and like you think it's gross to pick it up, just pick it up and like just tuck it in the bin, it's not that bad. 